Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and this is episode number 31 of Code Hangout. In this episode, I would love to show you how you can create an activity view controller and also we can share stuff, images, files, videos, anything via AirDraw in iOS. You can share AirDraw in iOS with an, from an iPhone to a Mac or, or vice versa or any iOS device that support AirDrop. So let's learn how to do this. I already prepared a star project with a lot going on right there for you and a lot of very customized code for you. So maybe you would love to have a look and um, there are some other features inside that you can study from that. And also we will save us some time. And second, I want to give you my new iOS course as a free gift. For you when you sign up there when you go to the link right down below it will ask you to sign up for a new member so definitely check it out okay here's how our starter project looks like we just have the De developers academy courses and programs at it displays most of our courses and programs at developers academy i hope that you will check those out now when you click into a course, it shows the course detail, the course info screen. And what we want to do is when we click into the share with friends like this, we should have something like um, the activity controller. So we have the option to add draw our course information, maybe the image, the um, text or something. In this case, we will share the image. Okay, just one way you can share things around. In your app, you can implement other way you can share anything that you like, all right? So that is our starter project, very, very simple. We just have to write one single method and call that one. First, let's create a UI acti activity controller. Inside our starter project, we have the courses detail view controller, which is one controller in here goes into the show activity controller method I already created for you and let's have that if let the image is the cost.image then this is just the way that I designed the data source for this class for this project but in the, your project you this step is you just somehow get the image or get the text or get any file that you want to share okay if let the image is image then we want to do something like images to share to be an array of image okay just one array contain one single image the reason why we want to have an array of images or an array of whatever you want to share via AdWord is that when we create an activity controller like this let's activity controller is UI activity activity controller and we have to provide the activity items let me see why it isn't auto complete auto completion right here will be very very useful activity ah get what's going on here we have the UI activity view controller right where is that all right here i type in your activity view controller okay it's ridiculous um, changing the slides right in the code hangouts anyway now we have the create a ui activity view controller and with this ui activity view controller we have to provide the activity items the activity the activities items we have here of course is our images to share right images to share that's why i want to grab it around an array so it is an array already when we pass it into this okay and also we have the applications activities here i will just put it as nil okay then right now let's um presents this view controller activity controller and any minute is true and completion is nil let's see how it looks like oops forgot <laughs> we implement the show activity controller right 
we didn't call this show activity controller inside our share with friends IB action so show activity controller there we go and then implement uh, and then run that okay click onto that drag it down share with friends and boom now notice that we have a bunch of things over here we didn't have the um, inside this we didn't have one thing the airdrop why didn't we have the airdrop well the reason for that is we didn't have uh, the reason for that is we are running this project inside a simulator so run the project right now in the um, in in an iPhone of course at the time of this screencast of this code hangout I am running this on Xcode 7 and iOS 9 so it means that if you are using Swift 2 and Xcode 7 and iOS 9 you can run on iPhone and you don't have to be an, um, a paid developer okay just be an Apple developer with an account a free account then you can run on uh, on a device but basically it is like that like several lines of code and you can have that features then when we have the UI activities controller maybe you want to exclude all of other different services okay if you don't want to use those services and then let iOS does its job so how we can exclude all of these services let me show you just very very quickly after we got the activity controller we can do things like let's excluded activities to be something an array okay maybe something like UI activity activity uh, type post to Facebook okay if you want to exclude that because if you run on device we'll have so much more activities here and if you don't exclude those and if you don't implement those maybe it will crash your app it will crash your app okay so I will have a list of activities excluded activities like this so here's my list of excluded activities we have a tons of those things like share to Facebook share to Weibo share to Flickr share to mail share to type print share to pasteboard things like that okay if you want to don't share with those just exclude them now and then we have to call activity controller dot excluded activity types included to be the excluded activities and then when we run we don't see those things anymore all right i hope that you enjoyed this episode of code hangout if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below at our blog or if you love to watch more video tutorials from me every week, every day, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and go to dukchan.cl or developersacademy.il and subscribe to our newsletter list. So every week I can send you even more video tutorials. Oh, when you enter your name and email to subscribe to our newsletter, I already send you another video after you send you the start project, right? After that video, inside that video, I send you another course, an iOS course I created for you, a new iOS course I want to give you as a free gift, as my thanks for checking out Code Hangout, for supporting me in this channel. So definitely check that out, it goes back to your inbox and get that video tutorials series from me. So until next time, I see you in the next episode of Code Hangout. I see you at the Wolfers Academy. Go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.